Sorry guys, so I ended up doing a voiceover for this. Something went wrong with my equipment. I literally did the second half of this video. Same equipment, same programs, everything. I don't know. Uh, so what's going on here? I'm at the uh, pedestal where you summon the Sabertooth Tiger. Literally hit E on it. I held E. I habitually do that, like I said in an earlier video, because I can so I can access the backpacks of the other people, tribesmen and stuff. He's located right over here. I'll put a little chapter in it on YouTube so you can see that. Go into it. You need premium fresh meat, beast bone, beast blood, and worship container. Uh, the worship container, I'll have a spot on the map where I farm in. The premium fresh meat, I literally use the method of finding the elite panther mother. Like you're going to find the cub and I just slaughter her. I literally had one when I left and I killed two of them and I have 30 now. Uh, drops are doubled in this instance, but that is what I do. On my way there, I'll just hit Q, follow the tracks, go destroy her, harvest a couple times, and then I run up to this pedestal and I summon him, which you just hold E on as I'm doing right now. This boss is really easy. Uh, he's only level 20, so I mean, it's gonna you're going to wonder why I have such big hits. I do like the Great Bow for the big hits, like I've said that before. Yeah, he always does that attack right in the beginning, so be prepared for that. You don't even need a shield. All you really need is a bow. When he starts running fast, he's going to jump at you. Just be prepared to dodge. And just keep doing that until he starts pacing around you slowly. And we'll see that in a little bit here in the video. And there it is. That's what you're looking for. I can get two shots off with a great bow. If you time it right, if he's just about to lunge at you, if you hold your bow and you wait till he's just about lunging at you, you can actually stun lock him pretty good. I hadn't thought about that in that video because it's such a cheese fight for me. Didn't think about it, but you, that does happen. I don't know if you can keep it consistently or not, but it worked for me once. And once you're done killing them, you can run back into this temple. I would suggest taking the left side. The right side, you got to wrap around a little further. Not really a huge deal, but it's a little quicker. You won't find any opposition as you're coming into here. This is where you get your first mask. Kind of important. You have to kill him. Store doesn't open without it. He's got the key in his pocket, apparently. You can run up here. Make sure you grab this. It's just a little inscription. Puts a marker on your map for it. Not sure what it does yet. But over here is the important one. Interact with that. And that's where you get your first mask. I've come down here before a couple of times. Uh, I think it's after the later, the higher versions of him or something. Maybe it's just aesthetic. I don't know. I never, never got it to open though. And that's all I have for you. Alright guys, I'm back for the next boss fight. We're going to be fighting the Ruins Guard. It's over here, west side of the map, across the water. Uh, personally, I come from right here. I've got a little thing here. They run there. There's a little spot you can cross the water. And you run through a little valley. And then from here, you just swim across. I actually have a bonfire set up here as well. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to just run straight through this. So if you don't want to see how to do that, don't watch, I'll put a little skip thing so you can just do it the way you want to do it. But I have killed every single one of these multiple times and I found out that I don't have to, so I'm not going to.
also have my path through here committed to memory. I don't know if it's the same for every game or perhaps every game's a little bit different. Uh, same map. I don't know if this is considered a dungeon, an instance didn't load or anything. But just so you know, I will be just running straight through this. Note that in here you get your portal parts, so if you want to be able to make your portals, you have to go through here. Um, I mark my doors once I find them, as you can see on the left side there, so that I know which ways to go for the portals. Don't really need them in the trial, but just good practice, I guess. And I don't get lost then. I do like to run over the run right over that and down there, and that becomes frustrating. But I didn't this time, thankfully. Note that you, the idea is to go up. That's how you find them. For the fight against him, there are a few things you need. Once I kill this guy, I'll let you know. need a blunt weapon. That is certain. Don't mind all the apacas everywhere. I initially had been frustrated with this boss. I couldn't figure out how to beat him, so I was trying to get the apacas to kill him, to spit him to death, but only one would attack at a time, so it eh, didn't work out. And that's right. Totally worth it for science. Things you're going to need are bandages, maybe some healing stuff if you have it, food for stamina, and the blunt weapon. I would highly recommend the hammer. The reason I say that, you get the best one you can, but the best what mod you can for durability cost speed down so that it breaks less, less fast. The reason I would suggest the hammer is for this. You earn a super armor status that reduces damage by 50%. That's huge. It's, it's going to it's going to help you a lot. It's basically the basis of how I do this. And you'll see that in a second here. The only thing that's really good about killing those plunderers is you do get those corrosive tanks. You'll see on my number two on my hot bar, and it does increase the damage you do to them. Bandage up quick, make sure I've got full health. And let's let's do this. I've done this in a while. Oh, let's let's food up. I always eat something that's pumpkin for stam regen, and then whatever the best steak I can get for health regen. And go at it. After one of those, you have time to either charge your spell skill or do a bandage. Oh. And this is why you want the Don't get hit by that one, that's probably one of the worst attacks. Making a note to dodge as much as he can. Make sure you're a little bit away from him, or you'll hit him with just the haft of the or the handle of the hammer, rather than the striking side. Don't get greedy like me, because then you get hit, and it sucks. Skills. I keep hitting the wrong one. 
Oh, there's the there's beef spitting away like a champ. That's what I was trying to kill him with. His legs don't do as much damage as his feet or whatever you want to call them do, and his torso. If you hold Q on him, it'll show you that. And done. Cool, cool. That thing caused me so many headaches, I don't even know why anymore. That chest doesn't open unless you kill him. Also, I forgot to mention in this temple, you also find the stone table for working on your map. Something else to pick up. It's all very heavy, so take that into consideration. This is a chest as well. Torch of Eternity, your next mask you need. Oh yeah, these tables here. It's also uh, earlier on in there too, in one of the rooms that's not a portal part. It's this here that you get it. I already have two. Uh, the drops are doubled in this, so do take that into consideration. This brings you back out here. So that you're right above them. They are dead if you killed them all. Otherwise, you have to jump down and run through them all. Thanks for watching, guys.